Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Oh, I feel yeah. like I'm lovely <laughs> lights there. Excellent. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Really well, really well. I'm going to pass it straight over to you so people Brilliant. can enjoy. I think uh, we've been doing a lot of learning and studying and reflecting, so we're ready for a bit of... Should we do a bit of doing that? Yoga, yeah. <laughs> All right then, guys. Okay, so we're going to do a kindful yoga practice today. Um, and this is basically about bringing the attention inwards and slowing right down. Uh, we lead quite yang, stressful lives. So we're going to do more of a yin style of practice today, opening up through the heart center. Um, and in yin, what we tend to do is really bring the attention inwards. It's quite a meditative style of yoga. In a, in a long, hour long class, you could hold the poses for up to about five minutes, which we're not going to do today. We're going to hold them for about a minute or so. But I'm going to ask you to really bring your attention to your heart center, to the heart chakra. This is usually uh, uh, demonstrated with a green energy, but sometimes it can also be with a, like a rose quartz energy, which of course is a crystal for love and compassion. And we're going to start off with a kundalini practice called Peace Begins With Me. So I'm just going to show you how to do that before we move on to the mat. And basically what we do is we unite a mantra with a mudra. A mudra is a hand gesture and a mantra is a short saying. And basically, Peace Begins With Me is a really nice way to shift our energy. If we're feeling a little bit uh, stressed or frazzled, it can help to ground us and center us. And I really love it because it reminds me of Gandhi's quote, um, be the change you want to see so of course if we want peace and we want kindness and compassion it needs to come from us so the practice basically we say peace and we unite our thumb and our finger together uh, our forefinger and our thumb this unites the body with the universe this um, generates intuition and wisdom then we say begins and we bring our middle finger and our thumb together and this generates patience and then we bring our ring finger and our thumb together and say begins and this um, it, uh, uh, generates vibrancy, it unites us with the sun's energy. And then finally we bring our little finger and our thumb together and this generates communication. So that's that's the little practice. We'll do it for a minute or so. When you do it for yourselves, you'll do it until you feel a lightness or a shift or um, you may want to yawn or stretch or smile. Um, so it's a little shift, but we'll practice it for a minute or so. Then we'll go into the other practice into the yoga practice and we'll finish off with shavasana and a small loving kindness meditation so just a reminder peace begins with me so i'll move over to my mat okay so sitting in a nice comfortable position i'll just double check that that is positioned correctly so just rolling back the shoulders you take a nice long smooth breath in and then as you breathe out, you can close down the eyes and then just begin, beginning the practice. Peace begins with me. 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 Peace begins with me me. Peace begins with me. Two more times. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Okay, so we're going to move on to our knees. And for the first pose, we're going to do melting heart. So we're going to extend the arms out in front of us, bringing our forehead onto the mat, and we can just close down the eyes, bringing the attention inwards, just following the breath all the way in and out. This pose helps to open up through the heart center and it stretches through the shoulders. And the lovely thing about closing down the eyes, it not only brings the attention inwards, but it helps us become less worried about what we look like and more concerned with what, what it all feels like. So bringing that attention in was nice, smooth breaths. Slowing the breath right down and following it all the way in and all the way out. This is quite a meditative form of yoga practice, really slows everything right down. Breathing nice, smoothly. And we're going to take two more smooth breaths here. And 
And then we're just going to come down onto our elbows, bring your elbows beneath the shoulders, extending the arms out in front of us, lying down on the mat, lifting from the belly, opening up through the heart center. This is Sphinx pose, really trying to breathe into that heart space, breathing nice and smoothly. Again, closing down the eyes if you want to, bringing that attention inwards. Now, when we open up through the heart center and through the front of the body, it just does tend to create a gentle back bend in the lower back. You might feel that. And the lovely thing with back bends is they're said to be anti-aging, really help promote nice length through the spine, nice integrity through our posture. Just focusing on your heart center, whatever color you decided for that energy at the heart center, whether it was the green for the heart chakra or rose quartz, or maybe a light, bright, healing light. Imagine that energy increasing with each breath, emanating beyond the heart center to encompass your whole body. Breathing nice and smoothly, two more breaths here. And then extending the arms out in front of you, coming into seal pose. Okay, <clears throat> and again, just opening through the heart center. So what if the, the shoulders have crept up by the ears, create that space between the shoulders and the ears. Lifting through the front of the body, really tapping into that sense of loving kindness within, compassion for yourself, kindness for yourself. And yoga is of course a lovely act of self-care good for the body and the soul. Two more smooth breaths here. And then gently bringing the hands back we're going to push back into child's pose. So bringing the toes together, sitting the bottom on our heels, bringing the forehead onto the floor. And this is a lovely counter pose to the back bend. And it gives us a, a moment to turn inwards with a sense of childlike quality, that sense of wonder and delight, that playful curiosity that we talk about with mindfulness. Breathing nice and smoothly. Again, closing down the eyes if you want to, bringing the attention inwards, stretching through the lower back. Following the breath in and out, watching the ebb and flow of each breath. And then bringing the hands down by the feet, turning the palms upwards to face the ceiling, bringing the knees slightly together, so that your shoulders can really melt into the floor. And just coming back to the breath. Following the ebb and flow of each in and out breath. You may notice your breath more strongly in your ribs in child's pose. So you can watch the, the expansion with each in breath and the contraction of your ribs with each out breath. Slowing it right down. Perfect antidote to our yang, busy, stressful lives, turning inwards with a little bit of yin energy. Slowing everything right down. And then coming up onto all fours and taking your left leg to the top of the mat. Now this is the most powerful pose that we're going to do in the session today. We're going to place our left elbow on our left knee. We're going to do something that's called twisting dragon. We're going to reach around for the back of our foot. You may just, you may not even get your foot up there. Okay, so just go as far as you can, honour your body. If you can get hold of the ankle, brilliant. If you can get hold of the foot, fantastic. And we're just opening up through the chest as we slightly turn round. 
And this pose not, opens up through, not only opens up through the heart center, it's opening up through the quad and through the hip flexor. And something to bear in mind when we're talking about being kind to ourselves is to treat ourselves as we would a friend. Often what we say to ourselves are the worst things that we ever say to anybody. We'd never say them out loud. So if we imagine by bringing some kindness to ourselves, that that means we're going to treat ourselves as we would a friend. And if we wouldn't say it out loud to anyone else, let's not say it to ourselves. We don't spend any more time than we do in our own head. We may as well make it a nice place to be. And then we're going to swap it over to the other side, guys. So just swapping the legs, taking the right knee to the top of the mat, placing the elbow on the knee, turning around and grabbing hold of the foot wherever you are. Just honour your body. So if you're here, that's absolutely fine. If you can grab hold of the heel, fantastic. You can grab hold of the foot and then opening up through the chest, breathing nice and smoothly. Coming back to the breath. Nice, smooth breaths. And then just releasing the foot, moving to the what center of your mat. We're going to go into hero pose. So the feet come slightly outside of our sitting bones, our hips. We're going to lean back on our hands. And if this is where you're at, that's absolutely perfectly fine, opening up through the chest. If you can come down onto the elbows, fantastic. If you're really flexible and you want to go down onto the floor, by all means do so. The important thing is to keep the knees parallel, but just to be really careful of the knees. This is a deep stretch, opening up through the heart center, coming back to that energy, that light we talked about right at the beginning. Whether it's a bright healing light, imagine that, visualize that light, or energy glowing in your heart center with each breath as you open up through the heart center. Breathing nice and smoothly. As you breathe in, imagine that light or energy glowing brighter. As you breathe out, imagining that energy traveling beyond the heart center to encompass the whole of your body. Taking two more smooth breaths here. And then very gently easing yourself out of this and swinging the legs round on, in front of you. We're gonna come down into fish pose. So we're gonna place our hands, palms facing downwards, underneath our bottom, staying up on the elbows, and we're just gonna come back onto the crown of the head. Again, this opens up through the heart center, but it also opens up through the throat chakra too. Fish pose. Breathing nice and smoothly. Just following the breath in and out. Watching the ebb and flow of each breath. Two more nice, smooth breaths here. And then gently taking the hands away, easing off the crown of the head, coming to rest on your back and hugging your knees into your chest, counterposing the back bend, stretching through the lower back, gently rocking from side to side, massaging the spine on the mat, and of course, when we get a hug, we release oxytocin in the body. 
but we can also be kind to ourselves by giving ourselves a hug. And this will also re release the feel-good hormone oxytocin into our blood. So here we're giving ourselves a nice hit of oxytocin as well as stretching out through the lower back, counterposing those back bends. Just breathing nice and smoothly, gently rocking from side to side, massaging the spine. And then releasing the legs, taking the legs onto the mat, keeping the feet slightly wider than hip distance, palms facing up towards the ceiling either side of the hips, and closing down the eyes. So we're going to go into Shavasana, which is the ultimate form of self-care and self-kindness, like getting still and quiet and allowing our bodies to absorb the benefits of our practice. Bringing your attention to your feet, allowing your breathing to return to normal and relaxing your feet and your ankles. Relax your shins and your calves. Relax your kneecaps and the backs of your knees. Relax your thighs and your hamstrings. Relax your hips, pelvis and buttocks. Relax your tummy and your lower back. Relax your ribs and your torso. Relax your chest and upper back. Relax your shoulders, arms and hands. Relax your mouth, tongue and jaw. Relax the space between your eyes and around your eyes. Relax your forehead and the crown of your head. Gently guiding your attention back to the room and to your breath. We're going to finish our kindful yoga practice today with a short loving kindness meditation. We're going to stay lying down to do it, continuing the act of self care. Repeat the words in your head or out loud. You're bringing the attention to yourself to start with. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be happy and well. May I flow through life with grace and ease. 
Maya left in peace. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be happy and well. May I flow through life with grace and ease. May I live in peace. Now bring to mind someone you care for deeply. Someone who's either done something really kind for you or just someone you love. Visualize them or imagine them in front of you and wish them, may you be filled with loving kindness. May you be happy and well. May you flow through life with grace and ease. And may you be at peace. Bringing to mind someone you don't really have a relationship with. Someone you're fairly neutral to. Maybe they served you in a shop a few days ago and you're grateful for that act of kindness and service, but you don't really have a relationship with them. And wish them, may you be filled with loving kindness. May you be happy and well. May you flow through life with grace and ease. May you live in peace. Bring to mind somebody that you have a difficulty with. Not somebody you have the greatest difficulty with, but someone on maybe a three or four out of ten. Imagine their suffering. Imagine what they're going through. After all, happy people don't tend to cause us grief and strife. And wish them, may you be filled with loving kindness. May you be happy and well. May you flow through life with grace and ease. And may you live in peace. Then bringing to mind all living beings on the planet and maybe beyond the cosmos if that's what you believe. And wish them all, may you all be filled with love and kindness. May you all be happy and well. May you all flow through life with grace and ease. And may you all live in peace. And then finally turning the attention back to yourself. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be happy and well. May I flow through life with grace and ease. May I live in peace. Just allow those words to melt into your being. Gently bring some movement back to your body by wriggling your fingers and your toes. If you'd like to stretch, taking your arms along the floor, stretching your hands in the opposite direction to your feet. And then when you're ready, gently roll over onto your right hand side and take a couple of breaths of transition. And then before we transition to a seated position, just remembering your body is nice and relaxed. The nervous system is nice and calm. So try and avoid any quick, sharp movements. And keeping your eyes closed and your head hung low, using your hands to guide you, slowly and gently return to a comfortable seated position. And bringing your hands to heart center. Allowing your thumbs to rest at your heart center. May we be clear and kind of intention. May your thumbs to rest on your third eye. May we be clear and kind of thought. And bring your thumbs to rest on your lips. May we be clear and kind of word. Bringing the hands back to heart center. Namaste. Okay, there you go. A little kindful yoga before lunch. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, I, I could. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Wow. wow. <laughs> uh, Calvin says, thank you so much for that loving kindness meditation at the end. It's beautiful. Yeah, it was actually. I was, um, 
I did it on my bed actually. And it was very oh, fantastic, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I did one or two of the postures as well, which was nice because I don't I don't do yoga that much, but it was nice to stretch my back actually. That helped. Oh, good. Yeah, it does. It's really, it's really nice to do some lower back stuff. And yeah. You just the next day you feel like lightness in your shoulders. It's just beautiful. But of course, what it does is open up through the heart center, which is just you know perfect for um, yeah. our kindness day. <laughs> So Jacqueline says, thank you. Vidya says, thank you so much. There's, there's even people in India doing it because of this practice today. So that's great. Brilliant. <laughs> friend Liv says, that's just what I needed. Ella says, so beautiful. Thank you so much. Have you got a YouTube channel? Ella's asking. Uh, I actually, Ella, no, I haven't quite got that into the 21st century yet. It's really something I need to do. Uh, but I do have a Facebook group where I do some live videos and I'm doing all my classes on Zoom at the moment, obviously, because of lockdown. Um, but after lockdown, I'll be continuing with that. So um, people can find me on Facebook, Alex Bannard or Maya Nanda is the business page or um, the Facebook group. Sign up to, to a Zoom course with you or something if they yes, want to. Start. Yeah, so you can find me on, on Facebook or you can email me alex at myananda.co.uk um, or my Facebook group, My uh, Mindfulness and Yoga for Self Care. And just reach out. There's some free videos on the on the group, but um, I'm also doing all the Zoom stuff as well at the moment. So I can do that in one to one, or you can join in with one of the classes. So oh, uh, lots of fantastic. options there too. Yeah, yeah no. loads of options. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For people who are not too sure or beginners, they could even have maybe a one to one session. Yeah, and absolutely. Into it. Absolutely. We do a Yin session on a Wednesday morning, so that's what we've just done now, really slow, and then we do a a vinyasa flow on a Wednesday evening and a Saturday morning but um yeah I'm available for privates as well so uh yeah just tune in and I will get myself on YouTube <laughs> uh, she's oh, I think you're on enough places already I think well exactly the world can only have so much Alex Banner <laughs> yeah exactly uh that's brilliant that's brilliant well thank you so much for, for your welcome. generosity and your time and uh teaching a little class to us all I felt like we were all in that little conservatory area doing some, doing some <laughs> well, yoga so that's nice thanks um, for having me and thanks for hosting this it's a beautiful um effort and initiative for today so thanks for that yeah. it's brilliant thank you